Hello viewer, welcome back to Science Hub, Separation of Mixtures, Part 2. Um, my name is Nicole Maranga, and I'm here with my colleagues, Lawrence Wanjiru and Nadia Fami. And I'm going to take you through separation of soluble solid liquid mixtures. Here, we have sodium chloride solution, which we're supposed to put 10 cubic centimeters into the evaporating dish. And I will transfer. Here is my evaporating dish. Now we will put it on top of the tripod stand so that it starts evaporating. As it evaporates, my colleague Nadia is going to explain more on invisible liquids. Uh, today I'll be taking you through how to separate invisible liquids by using a separating funnel. The apparatus we require are a separating funnel, oil, a wash, a wash bottle containing distilled water, beaker, measuring cylinder, and a stand. So we will begin by opening the knob and ensure that the tap is closed so that water does not come out. So we will open the bottle and pour in some oil. So I'll pour in the oil into the separating funnel. Close it so that it does not pour. And I shall pour water, distilled water into the, uh, the separating funnel. Can close it and open the the knob. And shake it to observe what happens. And tighten tight now. Okay, as you're noticing that uh, the oil is forming at the top layer and uh, the water is at the bottom, this is because they are not miscible, miscible because the, the oil contains a less, has a less density than water. And so, as you can notice, as the water is and the oil are separating, there is a line that there's a boundary and this binary we call it an interface. The interface, as I earlier explained, is a, a, a boundary between the oil and the water. So as you notice, it has already started separating. So we can now open the knob slowly to ensure that the water comes out. So. We can open the door and wait for the oil the water to come out. Try closing it so that slowly so that the oil does not come out.
as you can as you you can see the water has come here and this is the water and the oil that we used is still here so there you have it a separation of water and oil I can pour the oil to ensure that it's And there you have it, the separation of oil and water. And Nicole Maranga can continue from here. Um, welcome back to evaporation. So here, the crystals have already started forming and we are going to transfer it using a pair of tongs to the bath, to the water bath. in order to prevent the, so the sodium chloride crystals from spurting out. And I'm going to hand over to Florence. Okay, so I'll be doing decantation and filtration. So what is decantation? Decantation is the separation of insoluble, solid and liquid mixtures. The apparatus used are a beaker, a stirring rod, a spatula, and soil. The procedure. Take three spatula and full of soil and pour it into the, into the beaker. Pour this pour distilled water into the beaker. And mix with a stirring rod. After that, you transfer it into a separate beaker to, to, to separate the soil from the water. Here we have the soil and the water. As you can see, this water is not clear. To get a clear to get clear water, we use the method known as filtration. The apparatus used are a filter paper, a funnel, and a conical flask. Fold your filter paper into a cone shape. It will look like this. Place it on the on the funnel and wet with your wash bottle to make it stick on the funnel. Use the water and pour it into the into the pan. As 
as you can see what you are getting is clear water we, this was what we had before and this is the result i hand it over to nicole now let us see what has happened as the water had evaporated Here, as you can see, all the water has evaporated and the, salt, the sodium chloride crystals have remained here. Thanks for watching.